Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and welcome back to another 10 Talk Tuesday. Today, I want to share my white decks with you. I know that sounds a bit weird, but if you look through your um, collection, you'll find that you will have animal tarot and you will have um, medieval themed tarot cards, and then you will have perhaps some fairy cards, you'll have a couple of dark decks. Have a look and see how many white decks you have. And I don't mean white washing. I mean literally decks that are very pale in color or black and white. Okay. Now I'm going to show you three of my top white decks. And the one you're going to actually be a bit confused about. So hang around till the end of the video and I will show you a deck that I think you're going to be a bit confused about. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to... My very first deck I'm going to show you is a deck called, it's um, by Marco Priato, and it is the Bianco Nero Tarot. I don't know if you guys have got this, or have you seen this before. It's, it's really cool. I'm not going to open it because the, the covers are exactly what the pictures look like. They are black and white, and they are very much Rider Waite Smith um, influenced, but they're not like Rider Waite Smith, but you could recognize it. I would say somebody who's in, who's sort of, beginner, middle of the road kind of tarot deck reader will be able to pick this up like that. It's a very, very easy deck to read with. And there you can see just the Justice card on the back. Um, this is such an amazing white deck to read with because it actually reads like a dark deck. This wonderful black and white deck actually hits the nail on the head every single time. I use this deck a lot. You can actually see the covers of the boxes of a tatty because I use this a lot and it's such a wonderful read. It's just a no bullshit deck at all. Okay, so that is the Bianca Nero Tarot by Marco Prieto. Prieto, Prieto. Okay, very nice deck. If you can get it, do so. The next white deck I have, and I'm sure everybody has this deck, it is unfortunately a deck that I don't use. It is a phenomenally beautiful deck, but it's one that I just I wanted for the artwork, and that is called the Lion Strider Tarot. It's a huge box. I'm so sorry. Huge box, and I hope it's not glaring. Can you see it? Hope it's not glaring. Okay. It is called the Lion Strider Tarot, and it's by Ciola Thompson. Um, it is truly beautiful. It's not a cheap deck. Um, it comes with a beautiful full color manual okay and it's just gorgeous look at full color manual the whole sheet um, and i'm going to show you why this is a white deck because the cards look like this they almost like a rorschach picture um can you see it's definitely a white deck to me this is a white deck um okay it looks like what this artist has done is done like a splush, look here, like a like a splash of, of paint or, or a splash of um, watercolour. And then within that, she's kind of put this incredible, these incredible drawings. And it is a white deck. That's what the back of the card looks like. Okay, it's reversible. But to me, this is not a whitewash deck because this deck also reads quite, quite well. It's not, a, it's not a deck that's going to give you yes sir, no sir, three bags full sir answers. Um, but it is a white deck. I must say white decks to me, they're not, they're not whitewashed decks. I did a video of that two years ago, I think, about what whitewashed decks are. But to me, these decks, although they are light and white, they read really, really spot on. Okay, they're not wishy-washy. What the... the Readings you get with this are very, boom, you do it, or the universe is going to clap you, okay? So that's the other one, the Lion Strider Tarot. It is not a tarot deck that I use, but it, the artwork is beautiful. It's very expensive, so if you want to buy it and you want to use it, it's a good investment, but you're going to have to spend a little bit of time having a look at the cards. Okay, now, if you've stayed with me through this whole video, okay, <laughs> if, you, if you're still here and you haven't fallen asleep, um, I want to share another, what I regard as a white deck. It's beautiful. This is the, this is the tin version, okay? Um, and, of course, it is by US Game Systems. It is a, um, a tarot deck called the White Sage Tarot. 
Okay, the white sage terror. Now, this is the small version. There is a bigger version. There's a normal size version. And then, of course, there is the, um, the collector's version or the original print. All right. Um, I didn't, uh, the original print was way too expensive for me and I couldn't find stock of the other one, which is why I bought the, the tarot in a tin version. Now, you're going to say to me, okay, Matt, the back could be a white, yeah, that, that could be a, a white tarot card. But, oops, 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 I want to show you something. The cards are not actually white. It is a pip deck. Um, so you've got this going on. Oh, not that. You've got this sort of thing going on, okay? Oh. Right. So you've got like weird things happening in here. Um, it is, whenever I pick this deck up, although it's got color in it and quite bright color, it immediately reads like a white deck for me. I don't think of this, I don't think of this as a color deck. I lump this in with all my white decks, okay? And as I said to you, white decks, although they are they are light, they don't read light. Um, I've just found that all the, the my white decks um, actually read with a punch. And that's very interesting because I also have a couple of black, dark decks that are actually meh, okay? Um, I don't know if it's because I haven't connected with them, but I've connected with these. Um, but yeah, I, I find that they are decks out there that are very deceiving so you order something that you think is light and happy and and fantastic and, and it's a white deck and the cover looks gorgeous and you get it home and you open it up and you do a reading with it and it just blows your mind it's so like in your face okay to me white decks can actually read as dark decks but i find that my white decks are really really spot on Okay, they headbutt me sometimes. <laughs> okay, so those are three of my white decks. They're probably the only actual white decks that I have. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any of these or if you have a specific white deck in your collection. All right, keep... I'm sorry. Keep it short um, and just let me know if, if, um, if, if you found one of these like your favorite decks or um, yeah, if you have a white deck in your collection. Let me know below. While you're down there, like, subscribe, and share all my videos, please. I, it, you know what? It doesn't mean a huge amount to you um, just to go and click the like button or whatever. But to me, it means a huge amount because, um, well, because it shows some love towards me. Okay, I'm Matt from Tubby Terror. I'll see you next Tuesday for some more 10 Talk.